Okay, I've got my Raspberry Pi Pico operating as a VT100 terminal. I've got a VJ monitor in the background, which is being driven directly from the Pico. I've got a USB keyboard at the front, driven directly from the Pico. And on the UART port of the Raspberry Pi Pico, I've got my retro Z80 computer running the CPM. And in the VT100 terminals, you used to have a smooth scrolling mode. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the smooth scrolling mode, which I've now implemented on the VT100 terminal. And then I'll go through all the things that I needed to do in order to get it to operate correctly. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate the fast scrolling mode, which is the original mode, which scrolls lines of text rather than pixels of text. Uh, I've got my function keys uh, working down here as well now. So if I press F4, it will... Uh, automatically give me a the command to just type a text document and so this is the fast scrolling mode which is just scrolling lines of uh, the text document so if I press go into the config mode and turn on the fast or the smooth scrolling and save the config and then the video just needs to resync there and uh, if I now press F4 again and this time when it types a document it will actually display in smooth scrolling mode this is scrolling one line of pixel per frame. In the bottom left here, you'll see the frames per second stays at about uh, stays at 60 frames a second. So if I do that again, whereas in the line scrolling, because it's just throwing as much as it can at the display at the time, the, the frames per second drops if you take a look back at that one. Uh, but with the smooth scrolling, it smooths nice and it scrolls nice and smoothly. And that's just the Pico doing this. So the Pico is driving the VGA, it's reading the USB keyboard, and it's uh, actually doing the scrolling using DMA as well. So taking the load off of the CPUs. The second CPU I'm not using at all yet, and the first CPU is just really handling receiving characters, and the DMA is doing all the screen work. So to explain the things that I had to do in order to implement the smooth scrolling, so core one never has anything running on anyway. Uh, core zero has all the, all of the stuff running on it, but most of it's done with DMA and the PIO. Uh, so just to explain over this side, incidentally for this first part, I've got a timer because I need to pull the USB keyboard. So the, the tiny USB libraries, they require polling. Uh, so that has to go, the USB stuff has to go in the, in the uh, timer. And I thought, well, I've got timer for doing that. Well, I'll just pull my two UART ports, one for doing the VT100 and one for doing the debug, because uh, that keeps all that stuff together uh, in a single area, and that's easier to look after for me. Uh, but as far as the VGA goes, it's all done. So a frame can be rendered directly from the PIO uh, using DMA from from RAM, from a VGA bitmap in RAM. Now in previous videos that I've done, uh, the comments seem to have uh, people which don't seem to appreciate that actually you can do a full frame of VGA from from um, from the, using DMA from the from the RAM without touching the CPU core. Uh, so each frame that's rendered, you just uh, set up a DMA to send it to the PIO, the memory for the VGA to the PIO. And that renders straight out to um, uh, the monitor and it doesn't touch the core at all. Uh, so the leaving the core to do lots of whatever else it needs to do to do with the application. So the actual core itself, when it wants to render something, it uses DMA to um, to render fonts and stuff to into the bit into the uh, VJ bitmap. But also for doing for the first part of doing the like the fast scrolling, uh, I used mem copy. In order to uh, actually do that scrolling because uh, all that's doing is shifting uh, characters uh, in, in in the actual in fact it's pointed the wrong thing it, there's a like a, an area for the character the VT100 character mapping so I've got five pages of characters and it just uses mem copy to to shift those up a row and then it fills in the row below with the characters from the VT100 UART input so that's the way that the rough scrolling worked. But in order to get the smooth scrolling going, I had to change some stuff. So if I go to the next slide, um, so it's still core, zero, core one does nothing and core zero is doing everything. Uh, but I've changed this. So the timer still does the USB keyboard polling because that needs to happen. 
uh, but I had to change the UART 0 and UART 1s to be interrupt driven. Uh, and the reason for that is that when I start doing the, this smooth scrolling, it, it can uh, miss some of the characters um, if, I, if I do it by polling. So if I do it by interrupts, I have to put the interrupts at a high level. So I've got from the VJ uh, a virtual blank in interrupt where it can tell me when I'm between um, frames and I can do all my rendering to the VJ bitmap memory then, which stops screen tearing. Uh, but the VJ, all the VJ interrupts, they're on priority one because nothing should um, be higher priority than them because from my application's point of view, it's important the VJ rendering to the actual display doesn't get interrupted. Um, so that all, all that goes smoothly. And then priority two is now the interrupt coming from the UARTs so I don't miss any characters. And then other... Um, other stuff to do with interrupts is done on, on lower priorities. Uh, that's to ensure that I don't lose any characters from the UART. Uh, but as far as the smooth scrolling goes, um, it still it, it goes this time from the character memory, uh, which is the page memory. It, it scrolls up one character line, and uh, then that character line gets rendered one line pixel at a time rather than being like blatted a whole pixel a whole character up at a time it's just rendering one character up at a time and it does that using the v blank in to scroll one, one line so you get 60 lines being scrolled per second uh, and that makes for a nice smooth scrolling then because there's no screen tearing or anything like that because it's all done in the uh, vertical blanking time and it's done using DMA, so it's nice and and uh, quick, and and it doesn't affect the core zero very much because everything's done again with DMA and with the PIO.